This time we're joined by the representatives of the Georgia Southern Eagles. We have head coach Mark Byington, as well as number 24, David Lee Jones, Jr. Coach, if you could please start off with a brief opening statement. Well, I didn't anticipate um, the margin of the score. Um, I thought we were going to play well. And um, we, we played at a high level. Our, our defense intensity was great right from the start. And, uh, you know, they're such a talented offensive team that, um, you know, sometimes you can play great defense and they still score. But I thought we did a great job making things tough. Um, we were really connected on defense. And then on offense, we played the right way. And, um, you know, we, we attacked, we, we passed the ball, we shared it. And uh, I didn't anticipate the margin because I think, you know, they're one of the best teams in the league. But things steamrolled and we got rolling and, and we played well. And uh, I'm excited for our guys to be able to get one under their belt and try to get some momentum in this tournament. Thanks, Coach. This time we'll take questions for David Lee. Uh, please raise your hand and wait for a microphone, then identify yourself by name and media outlet. We'll uh, be on the left side. Oh, I'm sorry. Going to the left side right here. David, uh, Mike Anthony, States for Herald. Um, big game for you tonight. Appreciate it. Uh, I know uh, all eyes were on Tukey going down there at the end of the mm -hmm. first half. It, you were already on your way to a good night, but – was there anything that uh, you stepped up or did differently in the in the second half that led to you taking a bigger role in the offense? Well, I knew, you know, Tukey, his ankle wasn't, you know, feeling right. So in the first half, I had told him, you know, I got you, bro. Like, I knew he wasn't at his best. So I just did whatever it took, you know, to win. If I, if I had to play defense, you know, knock down threes, whatever. Any further questions? And on the other end, you know, Coach talked about the defensive effort. It seems like throughout the season, when you guys have had your best games, it's come from the defense leading to offense. You get involved with that, uh, a couple steals, kind of being a, a team defensive effort, everybody getting a hand in there. Uh, how well did you guys seem to sync, especially with, you know, some different rotations getting thrown out there? Um, really just, you know, you know, good defense leads to good offense in transition. So, um, you know, we was locked in on defense. And I think we did a good job communicating. We had a couple of errors, like in the first half, communicate, but we got it together. So uh, when we got that, we can get our transition. It led to easy offense. You know, Quan got some tough, tough basket you know, on the break. So you need more? Oh, we have one in the back. I'm sorry, that on the camera platform. David Lee, this looked like a team that could win the conference tournament tonight. How sorry. excited are you guys after this game and, and what you proved you could do here? Uh, yeah, we excited, but, um, you know, we just got to handle business. You know, it's just one game. We got two more to go. You know, you got to have a mindset one step at a time. You know, uh, you know that game is gone. Like Coach said, you know, that's in the rear view. You know, it's in the past, so we just got to move on. Uh, but for the most part, you know, get rest. You know, go home, get rest tonight. Go to the hotel, get rest tonight, and uh, just be ready for tomorrow. You guys split the regular season series with Arlington. Tell me mm -hmm. what you learned about them last time you played and, and what you think you can, you know, put to use tomorrow. Uh, last time we played Arlington, it was a home game. We we wasn't we didn't have our best performance, but uh, we know what we need to do for tomorrow. Uh, we just got to stay locked in, play defense, just keep doing what we're doing. I think we can play better tomorrow. Thank you, David Lee. You can go ahead and head back to the locker room now. And we'll go ahead and open it up for questions for Coach Byington at this time. Guessing we'll start up here on the left. Just keep the mic, man. Coach, had to be a scary moment there in the end of the first half when you see Tukey go down, just name the uh, player of the year for the conference. What goes through your head? What, uh, what do you tell the guys at halftime when you know, you're not quite sure what you're dealing with there? Well, to say he's important to our team would be the biggest understatement I could ever say. Um, he's, he's so valuable in so many different ways. And um, you know, when he goes down, uh, the good thing is our guys didn't flinch. And I was just worried about the rest of our guys. So we all know how good Tukey is, how important he is. But I was more so just checking on him, make sure, and then we had to send him to the, um, to the locker room. And, uh, you know, more than that, I want to see how our other guys responded. And you saw a couple guys really respond when Tukey went down and went to another level higher, uh, like Isaiah Crawley and then David Lee Jones and some other guys. So that, I was proud of those guys for stepping up. And you mentioned, you know, how good of a shooting team this ULM squad was. Uh, in the first half, you, there you get out to a double-digit lead. I think they hit uh, three pointers on three consecutive possessions. They continued to hit them throughout the game, but it seemed like throughout the rest of the first half and into the second half, when you guys pulled away, you were able to e either get a hand in their face or maybe make them 
drive, kind of keep them from using a three-pointer that really has been the difference maker in a lot of your games this year? Yeah, we were trying to get to their legs. And uh, we knew they played last night. Uh, they also played on Tuesday. And we were trying to have a fast-paced game, a high-tempo game. And they did make some early. The first half, they were 7 out of 15. And, uh, but they still shot 30%. And we just had to stay the course. We made some defensive errors, but we also made a lot of great defensive plays. And the second half, I thought we came out and started the second half with a, with a great defense intensity. And that was probably my biggest fear at halftime. Hey, Coach, Greg Talbot, WSAV, good to see you. Um, your, your guys told me this week that they were peed off after what happened against Georgia State last weekend. They came out with some real fire, especially Tukey, the first couple of minutes, and Quan Jackson. Did you like the intensity and the fire that you saw tonight? Well, you know, you know what? I, I like the fact that our guys played angry. And, and some, I was worried about our guys being nervous, and I wanted them tend to be angry. I like, play angry. I like, play aggressive. And I didn't want them to have nervous emotions. And um, so sometimes with that, we might make mistakes, but I at least thought we were going to have the right mentality. You always seem to have good, you know, thoughts about what makes a good matchup favorable or not for your team. What do you think about tomorrow? Uh, Arlington, tremendous defensive team. Um, one of the best, if not the best in the league. Um, different style than these guys. They have two quick guards who can get shots at any time. Uh, they had a tr tremendous season. Um, you know, the, Chris Ogden got coach of the year. And he deserved it. And uh, they are a difficult team. Um, you know, it's going to be a slower paced game, but we got to make sure that we can try to generate enough buckets and we got to play probably even better defense tomorrow uh, just because they're going to be a little more patient. And one last question, if you don't mind, this is for one of our feature stories tomorrow. You know, 10 hour drive from Savannah, good crowd on hand for Eagle Nation here. A lot of friends, a lot of family, a lot of supporters. Uh, how much does it, you know, hearten you and, and the guys to know they were willing to go so far? Yeah, you know, our, our fans were great today. And, uh, and then shout out to our band and cheerleaders. Um, I, they had new songs and they were had great energy. So um, in, a, in an arena like this, that's contagious. And I thought our, our fans were contagious for giving us energy and helping us out. Thank you very much, Coach. We'll see you tomorrow. Warhawks, Keith Richard. Coach, if you could start off with a brief opening statement. First, I'd like to uh, congratulate Georgia Southern uh, for moving on. Uh, you know, as far as the game tonight, uh, I thought they, they really dominated us uh, in all facets. You have to give them all the credit. The, the story is really about them tonight and, uh, you know, how physical they were with us, how quick they played, uh, you know, 42 to 14 points in the paint, 27 points off turnovers, 14 offensive rebounds. Uh, that's a, that's a dominating performance, and uh, you know I wish them I wish them well moving on. They got a chance to win it. Questions for coach? We're gonna go over here to the right. Coach, do you think um, playing um, the games that you played this week and night kind of caught up to you a little bit? I think I think it did some, but I don't know if it would have made a difference tonight as well as they played. Uh, but certainly, you know, it's it's got to play a part. Uh, and uh, but they were they were so good in in on both sides of the court, you know, defensively and offensively. Uh, you know, I'm not real sure that uh, it would have made that much of a difference uh, tonight. Uh, so, you know, if they if they play like that. Uh, you know, they're going to be hard to beat. Not to get overly reflected, but talk about your seniors a little bit when you talk about Munnings and Smith and what they've done in their time. Well, I think that, uh, first of all, Travis Munnings, you know, he's been uh, an outstanding student athlete in our program. He's graduating this spring. Uh, he's been a model uh, 
student, no maintenance at all for four years. Uh, and, and you got to have some of those guys coming through your program. And uh, I'm really proud of Travis. He had a good career. I think uh, he played tied tonight for uh, uh, most games played in a Warhawk uniform. He, he tied the record 132. 132. You know, had some great moments in his career, and, and uh, he's high up in the stats in the history of our, our program in points and rebounds. So, uh, you know, it's hard to see Travis go because he's, he's been with us for the last th four years. And, uh, uh, but, you know, he'll do well moving forward and, and, uh, Hope we can get some more just like him. As far as Deshaun, uh, the other senior that played tonight, you know, a lot of coaches uh, or some across the country uh, don't like taking a, a player for one year in terms of he had to sit out a year. He transferred, he sit out. So, you know, that was on scholarship for two years to play for one. But I think that uh, for us uh, at ULM, uh, it was a, a great marriage. Deshaun got to – uh, come here and be a good player, uh, like like we always thought, like I always thought he could be. Had a, had an outstanding year, so I think it was good for both parties, for both of us. It was good for him, allowed him a chance to showcase his skills a little bit. It was good for us uh, in this one year. Uh, you know, we won 18 games and finished tied for six in the league, top half again, and and uh, had a winning season. And so, uh, and he had some great moments. Made first team All League and. Uh, uh, so really happy about him and his year here as well. Coach, you know a lot about this league. You've been around a, a while. Can you just talk about the toughness in the league when you think about those matchups that's going to be tomorrow and then obviously potentially Sunday? Well, you're right. I have been here uh, through the league through nine years, and I've kind of seen it all. And then way back when I was here, you know, and, and uh, but – I've never seen, I don't know that I've seen since I've been in, in the league, uh, this much parity with good players across the league on a lot of teams. And uh, uh, this, this whoever wins it's going to have earned it. I can assure you that. You know, there's been a lot of times in, in the league, it's a couple of dominating teams, a couple of bad teams, a lot of people in the middle. That, that's really not the case. Uh, in this particular year, a uh, lot of parity. I mean, uh, you know, just look at the fact that, uh, you know, Georgia State won the league by one game with three other teams, and uh, we lost to them by one point at their place on a controversial no call, where, or it would have been a four team tie for first place. I'm just making that an example. I'm not crying now. I'm, just, <laughs> uh, I'm not crying. I just want to make the example about how balanced the, our team was four possess. We had four one point losses in league play on the road. We're four possessions away from winning the league. Crazy, crazy. And I've never seen it. And I'm talking about good players in the league too. Good players. And, uh, and not just the all conference players, the, the role players in the league, you know, uh, it's one of the best years that I've seen it. Thank you very much, Coach. Okay.